What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy, we back here with another reaction. And today, as you see what's behind me, we got the UG rap Eye for an Eye by Daddy Fat Snaps Jujutsu Kaisen. Hold up. First things first. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me for a little second. Had to lock the door for you know who back behind this green screen. But like I said, we here with DPS and such. And hey, we still continuing the trend of starting off the year right. And if I'm not mistaken, next week, around like next week or so, Fable is dropping his and it's featuring Dizzy 8. Because we just reacted to Dizzy 8 and Jamar Rose finally squashing their beef and dropping that song Limitless 2. If you haven't, go check out my reaction before this one and such because I dropped that on Sunday, last night to be exact. So make sure you go check that out. But hey, with DPS, he said this one was more personal to him and such because he's talking about how... Because I saw in the pinned comment where he said he's lost family, he's lost friends. So it really means to him. So hey, I can... I, in a way, can resonate with him because over the past three years and such, for me personally, I've lost two, I'm about to say three, but I've lost two grandmothers, one from my dad's side and one from my mom's side. So basically, my dad's mom and my mom's mom. So rest in peace to them too. But hey, if you resonate with this, leave a like on this video. But either way, we about to check this out. So make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video those who those who we love never truly leaves us and that's facts oh yeah and he and as you see here it says he got golden emp John L and mcguire three of my favorite singers you can say well in a way, let me be realistic. Two of my favorite singers are John Ol and Maguire, cause Golden EMP, I haven't heard from him as much. So, but I did remember, I did remember hearing him as much. But and I gotta say, his voice is crazy. So the fact that he got these three on the chorus, hey, I know this chorus finna be crazy. Every day I used to wait with passion Then mm. everyone around me turned to ashes Imagine one day walking through the hallway of your classes And you see the bodies piled up through the glass mm. You calling out the name mm. oh, he And DPS said this was gonna be like an emotional one and such Hey one thing I can say is this. Hold on, let me see if there's anything on my phone. Yeah. But now, nah, it's basically like this. When deep, we all know for DP is going aggressive on songs, right? We all know him for that. Especially when it's his most favorite ones, like the villain ones and such he does. He goes stupid on those. But I've always said before that when it comes to not even just being an artist, but as a human being you don't just live by one emotion we all don't live by one emotion we've had many emotions through our experience in life so and still continuing on more so nine times out of ten you know and in a way like I said if we because I know there's probably gonna be some singing in one just some singing from DPS because we already know with the Features they they're gonna go singing crazy, but with DPS, we know just if he's gonna start singing, it gonna be crazy. Every day I used to wait with passion, then everyone around me turned to ashes. Mm. Imagine one day walking through the hallway of your classes and you see the bodies piled up through the glass. Mm. You calling out their names, but you know they won't be an answer. You hyperventilating, got you running for a breath, but you can never seem to catch it. 
Not one of them can bring them back, so you just sit there gasping in the air is getting thinner like you breathing in a casket. Yeah. Your brothers are the taxes. If you could look the devil in his eyes, what would you ask him? But what you ask me? A life of living as the passenger, I'm in the backseat. The road ahead is full of massacre, we cruising back streets. We would fantasize the future, now I'm in a bad dream. Took for me what could have been to turn him to a has been. Took for me from what could have been and turned him into a has been. Mm. Saying that it, we could have done this all together and such. But after one fatal blow and such, it went from could have and now it should. It went from could have been to should have been, meaning that we could have done this together and such, but now it turned into we should have, meaning that we were there, but after this certain situation, since you're not here anymore, we should have. And man, you cannot tell me there ain't some of y'all out there who's been in that situation where either you or a certain friend of yours and such that. Both of y'all could have done this together, but after certain things happened between one of y'all, it ended up didn't happening. And that was crazy. Has been pro tag to the toe tag to lose a tag team. Cause everybody has a vision to the black screens. I don't wanna wake up. Ooh, this is singing. I don't wanna face the day. I hear them. This course, I like the harmonizing and everything. Claiming it's eye for eye, but the signature blind, it's all out war. Mm. around me got dismantled mm. ironic how when life can be the thing that leaves you strangled and the only breath you have inside your chest is for your candle when you blow it out and so you Damn. hold your mouth because all the bullshit and you've been broke <laughs> now nah, run that one back again because dps says i've said this in a way this has always resonate with me in such where when it comes to rappers putting out those like deep intricate mind bars and such I be thinking of like, you know those poetry slams that people go to or do and such and trust me, them are the suckers be, it's basically like this, them are the type of poetry where it just hits you in that soul or not, if it's not hitting you in the soul, it definitely hits you in your brain where you really gotta pander on something like that and really be like, holy ish, they're right. Like, if you've ever experienced one of those poetry slams where you just hear it straight out and such, and you gotta think to yourself where it's like, damn, damn, <laughs> they write about this shit. Like, so hold on, run that part. I know it's all. I like the harmonizing on that. Then everything around me got dismantled. Mm. Ironic how when life can be the thing that leaves you strangled, and the only breath you have inside your chest is for your candle when you blow it out. Mm. And so you hold your mouth, cause mm. all the bullshit and you've been brewing. And the mm. fight inside you, Brody, they don't know about. Mm. Thought the grass was greener over here, so I had to mow you down. Mm. Little bitch, do you know me now? Mm. I ain't taking no shit. I put a trigger up to I don't have that pimp to load it. Mm. All these thoughts inside my head, they only hit a homie. And I can kill all my regret when I get hit. I can't kill all my regrets, but I can hit a target. Woo! See what I mean? It be bars like this. And you think, you know what makes this so crazy? 
Cause I look. Hear me out when I say this. Shout out to him, Sandwich. Right? You know we. Lo I love him and such. Now, if y'all haven't remember, if y'all didn't go on Twitter and such, Ham Sandwich talked about. He put out a tweet saying about how nerdcore nowadays and such is not as fun as it used to be. Now, I don't know about that now and such. I mean, it, even though it seems, it's basically like this. this is how I look at it. As even though I'm not a nerdcore artist in a way, you can say. But hopefully, throughout the nerdcore community, they consider me like a nerdcore reactor. And I'm part of that community because I've been reacting to nerdcore for the past two, I would say for the past two and a half years. Because in August of this year, in 2024, it would be considered three years. So we call it for two and a half years now. And hopefully, I will consider myself a part of that, a part of the community. But... I gotta say, this is how I look at it. Now, all I can say is, I get it what he's saying about how it used to be always fun. You always seen people having fun with it and such. And hey, nothing, I'm not always say this. I've always said about how, where you're, remember at the end of the day, you're the artist. It's not like you're always gonna make serious songs every single time, right? And is it crazy for me to say that when I'm reacting to a serious song right here, right? But what I'm saying is like Not all that I've said like I said earlier in this video Not everybody lives through one emotion in life Every we all have different emotions throughout the entire life. We can be happy. We can be sad. We can be depressed. We can be Confused we can be anything because it depends on what your situation is, is in your life. Sorry, a little bit right there. And how you handle it. But. At the same time when it comes to the nerdcore music and such, right? Me personally. Now I can't speak for everybody out there. And I can't speak for every nerdcore artist out there and such. Or nerdcore reactor, you can say. <laughs> but. All of us have, I'm not saying all songs can't be fun and such, but there's a time and place for when songs can be fun and songs can be serious. That's how I look at it, where songs in itself, where it depends on who the viewer is who's listening to it, because look at me, I can say I like this serious, I like this serious song and such because it really tugs your heart in an emotional way but then probably next week or so that whenever another nerdcore song drops and it be like fire and it lit and all that craziness and such I might want to like that more because at the end of the day I'm not saying all the music should be just fun and such I'm just saying each people have their own ways of doing music and such some want to be some want to make it fun some want to make it serious some want to make it sad and such hey it's all part of life hopefully I explained it in my own way I know I'm not great on explaining certain things but hopefully y'all understand when I'm saying that and such but sorry for that little long little rant there and such but I had to say my two piece on that but back to the reaction the only breath you have inside your chest is for your candle when you blow it out mm. And so you hold your mouth cause all the bullshit and you've been brewing And the mm. fight inside you Brody they don't know about you Thought the grass was greener over here so I had to mow you down mm. Little bitch do you know me no. now? I ain't taking no shit I pull the trigger until I don't have the clip to load it All these thoughts inside my head they only hit a homie And I can kill all my regret when I get hit a homie You try to run that but it's too late I'm a new friend Six feet with a book okay. New day, new food and bro, we've said this and I've said this before when DPS gets into that rapping mode, he's non stop. But hold on, I gotta read this. Life put me to the brink. Now you act so shocked that I mutate. So it's F you, mother efforts. I ain't going. No way, it's the new age. I ain't going no way, it's the new age saying that nigga. Yeah, 
life put me to the test and such so i evolved and i'm now levels above you in a way because of my hard work so if you don't like it guess what tough luck because nigga i'm making sure i succeed and if you still feel some type of way get the fuck out get the f out my way simple as that that's how i look at it Basically, I say. I didn't think I've ever. And I gotta say, shout out to. And I like I and I like the cover art for this, the wolf there and such iPhone I, crazy cover art. But yeah, it's basically like this. All I can say is, right, shout out to those, shout out to Maguire, Jono, and Golden EMP on the chorus and such, because, like I said, they might, they probably was like, they were like in the backgrounds, because I saw in the description they were in the backgrounds, but if they were in the chorus, if they, I don't think, I think all three of them was probably doing the chorus at the same time, so, technically I couldn't hear all three of them, and probably, plus it was monotone, so, yeah, but either way, I so I know this was probably a long ass reaction, but hey, what can what can I say? Whenever it comes to a DPS reaction, I, it tends to be a little long. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And if you made it to the end of this reaction, comment down below. Actually, basically comment down below the first thing that you saw. On the screen and such of DPS's where it says those we love never truly leave us comment that down, comment that down below and I give you a heart but either way it's been your boy homo ziggy signing out stay positive keep the vibes up we out